I am very pleased to welcome back to the show a friend of mine and one of the funniest people I know, Jason Stewart, who's getting ready for a comedy show coming up on the 8th. Welcome back, Jason. Good to see you, even if it's virtually. Yes, I'm sorry. I can't hug you. I can't touch you. I can't do anything. We're in these crazy times, and I know it's driving everybody nuts, you included. Uh, I, I have to ask, because yes. especially now, how's your mom doing? Is she okay? Uh, okay, hashtag, I don't live with my mother. She lives next door. <laughs> That's right. That's right. I live That's up right. here, and then she lives one over, because you don't want to <laughs> live above the, a Jewish woman. No way. That's a wrath you do not want to take. You know, so I'm up here, and she's down here, right? It's like an L. stands for loser. I'm a big <laughs> loser now, yes. People walk by my apartment and they go, oh, my God, that's where Jason Stewart lives. He never found anyone. He's a spinster. You know, and then kids throw balls on my grass, you know, and then I keep it now. <laughs> if they're over 21, they get to stay. That's the way it goes. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Well, that's just a little taste of what you can look forward to on the 8th. So tell us about the show on the 8th. It's going to be at the 8th at the Desert Rose Playhouse again. We sold out uh, last August, so we thought we'd bring it back. Uh, the place is going to be totally safe. You can't get in unless you're vaccinated. And you're going to have to wear a mask in the audience. It'll be very safe. Uh, people will be sitting at a little bit of a distance. I'll be on stage. and It'll be a lot of fun. Um, I'm working with Jenny McNulty this time, who is known as the lesbian football player ex-lesbian football player, though she doesn't look like it. She's really sort of fit and sort of sexy and gorgeous. And uh, emceeing the show is the wonderful uh, Melissa uh, Greenberg. So that's going to be great. One of the funniest people in the Chicago Valley. Well, uh, so we got straight lesbian gay guy. We are family. One there you go. Her. You got it. You covered all the bases appropriately. So uh, you also are doing a fundraiser over at Quads. Tell me a little bit about what you're doing there, what you're raising money for. So it's really exciting. My friend Steve Roche and Paul Basito run a Wednesday night, uh, basically, program at Quads, which shows videos. And uh, it's called the Filmmakers Gallery. And they're going to be spotlighting um, my TV show that's on Amazon, Smothered, uh, co-starring and co-created by my friend Mitch Hara. And it's going to be from 6 to 9, uh, January 12th. And you get to meet me in person and talk with me. Again, everybody will be masked and, and so forth. And it's going to be a lot of fun. And we're starting season two of Smothered. So we're, we're doing a little bit of a fundraising thing. If people want to meet me, they can come. If they want to donate a little money, they can go to smotheredtv.com and click on uh, GoFundMe. And if they don't want to, they can just come and meet me and have fun and have a drink and watch the first episode uh, over and over and over again of Smothered and see clips from my career and all sorts of stuff. So it's going to be a lot of fun. And my birthday's on the 13th i'm going to be 39 again and uh i'm willing to admit i'm 50 it just took me nine years <laughs> <laughs> well once again and i want to remind people you do not live with your mother you live next door no hashtag i don't live with my mother i live next door <laughs> you know because you can't date you can't date anybody this is the way i'm dating now you know <laughs> I, no, I hate. I did the other day. Somebody hit me up on one of the apps, and they said they wanted to meet me. I said, "Look, I'm not meeting people for a little while." He said, "Oh, just stand by your window, naked." I said, "I'm not doing that anyway. I live on the second floor. How are you going to get up there?" <laughs> <laughs> well, again, on the eighth Desert Rose Playhouse on the twelfth at Quads. Go see Jason in person. Jason, thank you. Good to see you. Yes, come January eighth. Uh, Desert Rose Playhouse, it's really cool. It's brand new. It's big. You'll laugh. You'll cry. It's better than cats. And I hope you come this time. 